Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Ayash Kabar from the GMS Virginia camp coming at you with another lesson that I pray that you find edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Just when you thought it was safe, you niglets, you actually thought that you were in the clear. Huh. This is an article out of Newsweek and uh, dated June 23rd, but updated June 24th. And the title of it reads, the military draft map shows U.S. states women may be automatically signed up. So here it is. You women have been talking all this sh sh site for years about how, you know, you're equal to men. You're better than men. You don't need men. You know, um, um, send the men to war. You know, it would make the world a better place. Now look at you. Now, your ass is on the table. Your ass is on the chopping block, you know? And all I hear from you women at this point is, is unsorrowful tears because I don't give a shit about how you feel. You didn't give a shit about how the men felt. Well, I can't even speak on men, you, you know? All I know is that you women have been lifted up in Babylon the Great, whereas you actually assisted your enemy in destroying your nation. And for that, there is a recompense. There's a payback that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has in line, has in store for you women. And, <clears throat> and you know, the prophets have been telling you women, you know, to rise up who are at ease. You know, you women have been at ease for so long that in your mind, you have actually nothing to worry about, you know? You have actually adopted the mindset of, of your co-conspirator, Esau Edom, into thinking that nothing's going to happen to you. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42 and verse 9, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Yeah, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is declaring new things that has never happened before, one of which is you women being automatically put into the selective service pool. So when the men get drafted, your ass could possibly get drafted. That's a new thing. It's never happened before over here in Babylon the Great. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them, and the apostles, elders, and bishops, and the men who teach and preach the same doctrine have told you this was coming. The men of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has told you that your days of living lavish is coming to an end. Your days of, you know, scorning and mocking is, is at hand, you know? Your day is coming, and it's only going to get worse for a lot of you women. It's, you know, it's only going to get worse, you know what I'm saying? I was on various social media sites, and all I can hear is how you women are complaining about how you, how now you need to worry, how now you need to stand up, how now, you know, you're not going for it. But there's nothing that you can do because this, the same system that that told you it was okay to be the way that you are, it's the same system that's now saying, I don't need your ass, go to war. You women have been put in a trick bag. And when I say you women, I'm specifically and only talking about you nation of Israel women. That's all I'm talking about. You women have been, <laughs> you women have been enemies of your men. The enemies of your men. And now here it is. A lot of you women are starting to turn back and, and uh, cry, woe is me unto your men. A lot of men don't want to hear that shit. A lot of men in particular, they don't care because they've realized that they don't need your ass to bring back a nation. In fact, you know, to the Judite women, you're fucked. 
A lot of you Judites are fucked because a lot of men don't want to deal with you at all. You know, <clears throat> so I'm going to read a little bit of this article and you brothers can go into it and read it yourselves, you know, but the article reads, um, yeah, come on. and the article reads, a policy change could see women automatically registered for conscription into the U.S. military. The U.S. House and Senate are considering legislation to include women into the country draft laws. After the House passed the annual National Defense Authorization Act last week, allowing a, bar allowing a bipartisan measure to make draft registration automatic. So you women are about to be put on automatic registration whether you like it or not. Men between the ages of 18 and 25 are required to register with the Selective Service, a database of people who can, who could be subject to a draft it were, if it were activated in some states. This registration is automatically, Salak, this registration is already automatic and happens when men get their driver's license or apply for college. So if you get your driver's license, it happens. If you apply for college, it happens. You know, r regardless, you know, and there's probably other ways that it's going to happen anyway, you know, because it's going to get so bad that they're going to be plucking men off the street, you know, and and if they be plucking men off the street, they're going to be doing the same thing to you women. They're going to be plucking your asses off up off the street and rightfully so, you know, what I'm saying because you women shouldn't be out on the street anyway without a man, without your husband's. Reading on, last week, a Senate committee approved the version of a Pentagon policy that would extend this automatic registration to women. <laughs> equal rights, equal fights, right? Now your ass is going to be out there, you know, on a battle, you know, on the front line. Well, I don't know if you're going to be on the front lines, but I wouldn't put it past this devil to put your ass right where you belong on the front line, you know? If, if the amended policy were to become law, Women in the following women in the following states would join their male counterparts in being automatically registered for selective service. Just when you thought it was safe, just when you thought you women had nothing to worry about if a war broke out, that's over, you know. And again, I'm referring specifically into you Judite women or you Israelite women, whether you like it or not. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is passing down judgment to all you women of the nation of Israel and of the world, period. But again, I'm only referring to the nation of Israel. Um, so when you read down a little bit, these are the states. Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Illinois, Kansas, Louisiana, Minnesota, Mississippi, New Mexico, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Virginia, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. So all of you women are about to be snatched the fuck up. A lot of you women who are in college, they already know who you are. You know, they already know who you are. So if you're in college, your ass is going on that fucking registry. If you apply for college, your ass is going on that fucking registry because you have gotten things for free. Well, I shouldn't say for free, but you, you women have gotten things with minimal to no effort. And now it's time to, now it's time to pay up. Now it's time to pay the piper. You know, this devil don't give you something for nothing. And and that's where a lot of you women have fall have fell a trap to, you know. Um and it reads on other states including Iowa, Kentucky, New York, Nevada, allow people to opt out. So if you're in those states you can opt out, but very soon those states are gonna be the states where they're gonna have your ass in derision. A lot of you women are gonna, <laughs> I can see it now, bro. A lot of you women are going to try to move to these states where you don't have to join a military and you can have opt out. You know, those are going to be the states where, you, you know, a lot of you women are going to be caught up a lot. 
you know, while places such as Idaho, Indiana, Maine, Michigan, Missouri, Minnesota, New Hampshire, and Washington allow people to opt in. So those states are going to be the states where you see, um, I want to assume, I would assume the overpopulation of a lot of women who, who are given a choice. You know, the states that were read earlier off that long list were states where you women don't have a choice, you know? So I could see a great migration happening with a lot of you women trying to move to those states. And this devil's going to shut it all down so you don't have to, so that you won't move to those states. Yeah, it's stuck where you at. Reading on with the article, the last time a draft was activated was in the 1970s during the Vietnam War. The policy change, if it became law, would not trigger a draft, which is activated by Congress and the president. The topic of whether a woman, so a topic of whether women should be included in the draft has come up several times in recent years. In 2020, a panel of military experts told Congress it would be in a national security interest of the United States to extend conscription to women. Um, proponents such as Sabak. Proponents of such an extension include Jack Reed, the Democratic Chair of the Senate of the Senate Armed Services Committee, who has said a draft being activated would mean a serious situation. So a lot of you women are about to get caught up, you know, especially if they well, especially if they pass this as law. A lot of you women are about to get caught up, you know. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, and verse 22. How long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall come past a man. <laughs> and a lot of you women are going to come past men because the men in Babylon the Great are weak, you know. They're not the men of old. They're not the women of they're not the men of might that that you know Babylon the Great has has so long prided itself upon. You know? The men in Babylon have become weak. You know, a lot of these a lot of these young men don't even wanna fight. You know, the last thing that they want to hear about is a war. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these men are talking about staying at home and playing their PlayStation 3s or their Xboxes rather than go and defend their country. <laughs> so this place has definitely become weak. Um, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 30. The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. Yeah, a lot of these men don't want to fight. A lot of these men don't even want to see war, let alone hear about it. They have remained in their holes. And what are their holes? Their holes are their homes. You know, a lot of these men are staying in their holes, staying in their homes. You know, they don't even go out anymore. I can walk around. Well, not walk around. I don't walk around these days, you know. You know, um, you know unless I'm exercising or I work or whatever, but... You can look around and, you know, a lot of these young men don't even go out anymore, you know? They spend a lot of their times either at home playing games. A lot of them fucking don't even like to work. So a lot of these men, a lot of these young men, I should say, would rather stay at home, you know, and have some sense of protection about them. But, you know, very soon that's about to come to an end, you know, because the FF... Because when the FF happens, you know, you know, um, you know, like a, you know, like a, like a fragrant Frida, I'll call it, happens, you know, Babylon the Great is gonna start bringing people in, you know, it's already started with those volunteers being shipped off, but it's gonna get to the point where the war breaks out and they're gonna need more men. You know, it's almost like that music, well, it's almost like that movie, The Matrix, when Neo was, 
was uh, going against the agent that kept reproducing himself, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, you know, like in one fight scene, you know, um, the agent, the agent got knocked to the ground, you know what I'm saying? And when he stopped sliding on the ground after he got knocked down, he looked at the camera and said, more, you know, next thing you know, more agents started coming out of the door to fight Neo. Well, the same thing is going to happen here in Babylon the Great. Once, once the first wave get decimated, they're going to need more men, you know. And once they run out of more men, they're going to add more women because the ratio of women to men is greater. There are more women than there are men. So <laughs> a lot of you women prided yourself on on the teats that you had here in Babylon the Great. A lot of you women prided yourself on being opinionated. A lot of you women prided yourself on having options and, and you know, go about your whoredoms the way that you saw fit. Well, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is about to put your ass in the judgment seat because a lot of you women are about to get it bad. Um, jumping down. Um, jumping down to, jumping down to verse 33, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 33. For thus saith the Habashim Yahushai of hosts, the power of Israel, the daughter of Babylon, which is Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, is like a threshing floor. It is time to thresh her yet a little while, and the time for her harvest shall come. So, Yahabashim Yahushai is setting everything in order. He's getting everybody where they need to be uh, 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 solely based on his will, you know. You're not going to be able to fight what's coming, or you're not even going to be able to fight against the will of Yahabashim Yahushai, you know what I'm saying? If he wants your ass to go into a draft, you're going into a draft. If he wants your ass to be put to death, you're going to be put to death. If he wants your ass to be saved, you will be saved. So a lot of you women, <laughs> huh, a lot of you women are about to get it. But, um, yeah, you know, that was the point. You, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these women are worried at, you know, at this in particular point in time because they've been told for so long that they were secure. You know, they had a strong sense of security. It was okay to be like a man. You don't need a man, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, exude masculinity because, you know, of what their mothers told them and what their grandmothers told them. Quite honestly, a lot of these Judite women are so fucking young with children that even the mothers might even go to war, you know, because right now the ages are between 18 and 20. 26 or 27 or something like that right now uh so like it let me get it men between the ages of 18 and 25 are required to register so right now a lot of these young mothers are in between the ages of 18 and 25 you know and once that wave of women you know get dealt with well what do you think is going to happen once that that age pool is done with they're going to increase the age from like 25 to maybe 35 and that's, so that's even more women even more men you know and from 35 to 45 and from 45 to 50 it's only going to increase you know because they need more you motherfuckers to go out there and fight so <laughs> i find it hilarious quite actually you know what i'm saying because a lot of you women are starting to eat your words you know, a lot of you women are starting to realize that you should have stayed in your femininity instead of, you know, trying to be like a man. Well, now is your time to fight like a man, you know, and uh, we'll see how that works out for you. Anyhow, I'm going to close out on that. You know, I pray that you found this lesson edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. Um, and with that, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the elect of the nation of Israel. And into the next lesson, Abba Ratazah, Shalom.